Good afternoon. My name is Maria Kruger, and today we will be focusing on the reparations that Germany has been forced to accept. Germany has undergone many difficulties, as, we have, as many have died from the recent war. Our economy is deteriorating, and the blame is now a burden on our country. The Treaty of Versailles is an outcome of further negotiations for the Paris Peace Conference. The terms that have been discussed concern the future of Germany. We have discovered that the reparations we must pay are far too great for Germany's success, as the economy will decline and create further future problems. We stand here in the town of Versailles, awaiting Gustav Streifmann for his views on exactly what accusation and terms Germany has been forced to accept. As you are probably aware, Germany has been forced to accept the blame, assuming full responsibility for causing a war, as well as a figure of 6.6 .6 billion pounds to be exact, of reparations that Germany has to pay. Other major key points that were brought up during the conference regarding Germany was German troops to be removed from Russia, and loss of large proportion of German land, France to regain Alsace and Lorraine, and loss of overseas colonies, and reduction of Germany's army to a minimal state of no more than 100,000 men. The German military was mostly affected out of the number of restrictions that were imposed on, as many of these things are now considered as prohibited to Germany, which include manufacturing of weapons, import and export of weapons, and submarine tanks, all of which we once had are now prohibited. Were there many disagreements within the country during the conference? During the conference, there were many disagreements, but Germany in particular did not have much to say. As I mentioned before, we were forced to accept the blame. Also, each country had their own agenda, and, and your proposals that they brought up to try and win back what they lost during the war. Were there any other key proposals that stood out during the conference? Certainly, there were Wilson's 14 points which he tried to put into effect, although many of his points were not, were not fulfilled. One of the one of his points that you mentioned was the creation of the League of Nations. Thank you, Hatsai, for your insight to us on what happened during the two years of that.